The White House declared September National Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. Every year, nearly 300,000 men are diagnosed and more than 35,000 lose their lives because of it. And fortunately, very often they do not go through that battle alone. Their partners, their children, their friends are there to help them through it. Bianca Holman shares the story of one woman's mission to carry on her dad's legacy. Many of us, you know, we don't really think our fathers are invincible. The idea of our dads getting sick, let alone with a with a a prognosis like that and ultimately it was difficult. Mary Anderson's father, Robert Anderson, was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 1996. Was told that his PSA level was high, found out he had prostate cancer, scheduled for surgery within days, and then on the follow-up they found it had already spread to his bones. Before his death in 2003, her father founded Prostate Cancer Coalition of North Carolina in 2001, a network of survivors, patients, and caregivers to support men at risk or living with prostate cancer. He asked me and a few other people to just make sure the work continued. There wasn't a lot going on back then. With more research, doctors use a variety of methods to screen and diagnose patients. There's a physical exam, blood exam to test for antigens, and a biopsy. In terms of causes of prostate cancer, most commonly we know there's some type of uh, molecular mutation that has kind of gone sideways that has continued to grow. With those results, sometimes there's no need for treatment, but other times timely treatment is essential. Ranging from surgery to remove the prostate, forms of radiation to try to destroy the prostate cancer within the prostate. There's a blade of technologies that also try to kill just the cancer in the specific area of the prostate. Anderson believes everyone can help save a life. Be gentle with them because it, it, it can be hard for them. Sometimes, you know, offer to go to the doctor with them if that's what they need. Tell them you love them and you want them around. Anderson shares the next virtual program is September 17th from 6 to 7.30 featuring resources for emotional support. In Raleigh, Bianca Holman, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.